Hey everyone, it's Nicole. Welcome back to my channel, Relax Cut Glue. If you're new here, welcome. I am so happy to have you all here with me today. So over the weekend, I did a little crafting for myself and I made this fun little booklet, if you will, but this could also be an awesome pocket for junk journalers because I made this out of one sheet of eight and a half by 11 paper and I'll walk you through how I did it. Um, this one I just designed as like a cute little um, memory thing for Xena, my dog. And so you open it up and here are two pockets. I put Foxy Lady. I didn't glue my stickers down yet, so I need to do that. But I put Foxy Lady and then here I just mounted some pictures that I printed and I made little tabs and I put little stickers on there of some pictures of Xena. That's me and Xena right there. Here's her on a walk. Here's her outside. And then the cool part is, is that right here is a pocket and here's a couple more pictures of her. And then over here is another one with a couple more pictures. Now, personally, if I was going to use this as a pocket in a junk journal, I probably wouldn't put this one in. I would probably close this pocket off because this is made out of eight and a half by 11, it will work really well in the basic size of a junk journal, which is a nine by six. Um, and you could always cut this down to make it fit better for you. But I just think it's fun. Now, another fun thing you can do is use these to send happy mail. And you don't have to put this little thing in this pocket. You could put goodies in here. Um, just a fun little thing to make. So I'm going to show you how to do that. It's very simple. I have some paper I was gifted in a Happy Mail that I thought would be fun to use. So I have, now this one I used, um, I didn't mat the back because I wanted to show you this is what I would glue onto my page to make the pocket, you know. Um, I used faux coffee dyed paper. Uh, this one is just Astro Bright paper. So what I am going to do is take my scoreboard and my eight and a half by 11 paper. This is basically like copy paper. And I am going to, now you can make yours however you want. I'm just showing you how I made mine specifically. So on the, so you have here, this is the eight and a half. This is the 11. I'm going to score this at one and a half. Turn it and now score it at five and a half, because that would make it right down the middle. Okay. Now, the reason why I did that is the score lines are going to help me with something in just a second. Now, if you do not have a scoreboard, but you have a paper trimmer, you can keep this open, put your paper in here, and use a little tool and go use it down this line right here, the cutting line. It, that will work as a, uh, what do you call it? I just said it. What's the name? Bone, uh, not bone folder. Oh my gosh. Scoreboard. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Going through a flare up. I apologize. Okay. So next step would be to take your paper. Well, okay. Hold on. Let me just backtrack. Let's fold on that inch and a half line. Get a nice little fold there. I'm going to use my bone folder to give it a nice crease. Making sure we got that down. Okay, open that back up. The reason why I folded this first is it makes it easier to see for the next part. So this part, you just fold in right up to that line. There you go. Give it a little crease. And then these will be your pockets. Now, this piece right here, you can see where I scored it, how it's kind of, uh, you can see like, I don't know what, an eighth of an inch line right here. I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut out that little score piece right here. And I'll show you why. So I'm just gonna cut it right up to where it folds on the inch and a half line.
right here. Hold on, I didn't go far enough on this piece here. Boop. Okay, so now I have this little strip right here. And then I'm just going to snip it off. So now you have a little tiny space right here. And that's so when you put these back down and you put these up, your book can open and close better because there's not paper right here to obstruct that from bending. And then the score line's there for you. You can just fold this in half. And now you have your little booklet that you can use as a pocket in a junk journal or a glue book or whatever, or you can use it to make a little photo album like I did, or you can use it for sending happy mail. So let's go through it one more time. All I did was take an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper, turned it so that the eight and a half was at the top, 11 and a half went the length way or a uh, vertical. Then I scored it at an inch and a half, turned it and scored it at five and a half. Once we did that, we folded up our inch and a half line and then we folded the top down to that line, which gave us our pockets. And then we cut out just a little strip in the middle here so that our pockets um, can be glued down and our book can now open and close a lot easier without the bulk of the paper that was right here being in this area. So your next step would be to glue your pockets down. Easy enough. So I'm just going to take my art glitter glue, but it has a little boogie on the top. Let's get that off. Ooh, it's so satisfying though, huh? There we go. Okay. And I'm just going to glue right up the side here and here like so. Just let that kind of hold that down for a second. Let it just kind of adhere. Already seeing some glue. And then I take my bone folder and I like to give it a press because this gets all that air out and allows the glue to stick to both the top paper and the bottom paper. Now let's repeat for this side. Going up side number one. Whoa, bone folder on the run. It's ready to work. It's like it's Monday and I've got a job to do. Okay, so now we closed up both sides. I'm just gonna hold this for a second, give it a little hand press, and then I'm gonna go through with my bone folder and press that down. You could use Elmer's glue if you want. You could use whatever you want. Okay, there, we're basically done now. That's how simple and fast that is. One sheet of paper makes the base. So now you can just decorate and, you know, do what you gotta do. So let's do, I want to add a piece right here. I was gonna make my, I wanna make one for Sherman, but I don't have all my ducks in a row for that today. So I'm not gonna do that, but let's see, what color of this paper do I want? Ooh, that one would look really good too. Ooh, I do like the polka dot. So I cut my piece that goes right here. I matted the top and this card right here. I cut those at, I need to turn my paper because I have directional paper. So I need to turn it this way because I'm doing the height right now. Okay. So three and, is that three eighths? One, three, five, seven. Yeah, three eighths. Okay. Sorry, I get confused by these. Okay, so there we go. Now I'm going to do five and three eighths this way. And then I saved these little bits and that's what I used as the tab for my little photos. And I could add more photos in here. I was just kind of playing around last night. So that's what I did here. Okay, so now this will fit right on here with just a small little border all the way around. Now, if you wanted to put it on the back, you would need to make obviously two. Um, this is the perfect size to fit in these pockets that are right here. So you don't have to put 
Like I just had some scrap, uh, scrap paper left from when I was making this. So I just glued a piece on the edge here, but you can use lace or a tab or nothing at all, really. Um, I just thought it was nice so that people knew there was something in here. So if you wanna make something to put in here, you'll need four of these. So let's cut a couple more. And then these pieces that I cut off, I used as decoration pieces, bases for my photos and stuff. So this doesn't go to waste, not in the slightest. So let's do, oh, these are double-sided. Oh, that is awesome. Oh my gosh, I have not had double-sided six by six paper before, that's exciting. Okay, so three and three eighths. Put that piece over there and five and three eighths. I hope I'm saying that correctly. Okay, so now we have two. I need one couple more. Now, which direction do I want this to go? Probably like this, so, all right. We'll cut four of these. Perfect. Okay, so now we have those four pieces. Now we also need, let's set these aside over here. I lined my pockets right here just because, you know, it looks better and it gives it more sturdiness. You don't have to do that. And the reason why I used thinner like copy paper is because once I added my paper on top, the paper inside, these things, everything feels very um, stiff. And I feel like if I used cardstock, it might get too bulky. Um, but you can use cardstock. I haven't tried it, but I feel like you totally could. Okay, so these are an inch and a half by five and a half, or a little less than five and a half. So I'm going to cut this at... Let's see if it's an inch and a half. I'm gonna go an inch and three eighths. Right, is that what I want? Yep, okay. And then five and three eighths. But I do think I cut this just a smidge more because to give me a, uh, accountability for the space right here. Actually, it does, well, yeah, maybe I will. Okay, is this one too thin now? It is. So let's do another one. Let's do this one. I saved these two. These work as little tabs. Okay, so this needs to be one and three eighths. Okay, and then... This needs to be right here. Okay. So now I have all those parts done. I'm gonna take this and I'm just going to cut a little hair off of this. This is just what worked for me best last night. So like literally just a little, just to give me a little bit more border on the side there. Okay. Right, let's get those papers out of the way. Bring our paper back. I know it looks a little wrinkly right now, but it'll be fine once I add the papers. So I'm gonna add this here. Now, if you wanna ink around the edges, you wanna do that before you start gluing things down. Um, and you could ink around this stuff before you glue your pockets and everything. I'm not gonna glue around edges on this one. Okay. So now I'm just gonna take my art glitter glue because it's easier for me right now. So I'm just gonna add that on here. Love this thin tip applicator. Love this glue. Okay, you only need a little bit. That's like super fine little lines. Okay, so now I'm just gonna put this on here and I have just a smidge of a border, which I love. Okay, we're gonna just press that down. Take my scraper tool here. I like to let it set for just a second before I press it down because sometimes the glue, it'll, you know, you can still wiggle it around a little bit and I don't want it to shift. 
So I just give it a second for the glue to tack to the paper and then I squish it all down. Don't wait too long though. This is a quick drying glue, so. Okay. And then we'll do this side right here. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so now we have our pockets lined. So that's fun. And then we have these that can go inside. So we need to pick the two that we want to go on the, the front and on the inside. So I think I will do, maybe I should do this on the inside since I already have it here. Maybe I'll do these two on the insides. Well, I think I'll go with this. Okay, sorry. It's just minimal decisions here. Uh, do I want to use art glitter glue? I might as well. I have it open. So which side do I like better? Doesn't matter. Not really. Okay, doesn't matter. Let's go. And we're gluing. You can use a glue stick for this. I'm just using this because it's quicker and less messy for me but you can use whatever adhesive you desire. I'm just gonna get this on here. Make sure it's as straight as I can get it because I like my items straight. Okay. Let's give this a little press. So we have that and then we can decorate and we have, I've just been keeping when I did my Xena one, I kept all my scraps together because I used them to put my images on. I used them for tabs. I used them for all kinds of fun things. So, okay. And then if we want, we can put one on the back as well. So let's do that. I didn't do that with my Xena one because I wanted to show you that if you put it in a junk journal, there's really no way or no reason to, um, put a paper on the back because you'll glue this right to your junk journal. Unless you don't want to glue it to it, then yeah, definitely. If you want it to be removable, then yeah, put a back on it. I just feel like that's kind of a waste of paper to put this back here if you're just going to glue it to your book anyway, you know? But you know, you do you. Do what makes you happy. Okay, here we go. Definitely got the corners on this one better, so I think we're good there. Okay. Now I have this piece and this piece to go in these. Like this, so they'd be like little photo mats. Now I could add, you know, this at the top, which is what I did with my last one, to be the little tab you could use a circle punch and glue the circle on there or fold it in half and use it as a tab or a hexagon punch or you could use one of these and just put a little you know a little tab right here for them to pull out on mine I used one of these little strips that I had left and glued it on there and I just cut it with my fancy scissors I call them fancy scissors but they're literally for children let me show you like this style you know that we can get these ones are really old and they sometimes struggle to open and then I have these two um, I have more of these scissors but these are the three that I just have in my desk so I use this one on my first one I think I'll go with this wavy one on this so let's see what are my scraps that I have left I really like I think this would be what's my cover again that would be cute. I also have this one. What I did on my last one is I just cut these strips in half. So let, maybe I will use. So I took this and I just cut down the middle. This is kind of a cheaper version of a border punch. You can find these scissors even at the Dollar Tree. If you look on Amazon, you can get a whole pack of these for like really cheap and they go on sale all the time but you can get like packs of like 20 different ones or 
five or six different ones. It just depends. Okay. So here's my little strip, and then I would just glue that on here. Okay. Is that what I want to do? Do I like that? Or do I want to use, ooh, hold on. Because this ribbon is one of my favorites, and I could just put, it's like, um, it has tiny, tiny little pom-poms. It'd be like little, I'm doing it. Okay. So let's cut this. I hope that's enough. Yes. Okay. It was enough. So I'm going to put this up here. I'm going to use my Fabri-Tac. I'm just gonna put a little bit along here. I still need to get a new Fabri-Tac. I'm horrible about this. Okay. Let's put my little border on here. Wait, that was upside down. Oh my gosh, that could have been horrendous. Horrendous, I say. Okay. I like to use my little plastic thing here because I can push this down and not get glue all over myself. I'm just gonna kind of hold it down a little bit, squish my pom-pom, make sure we're good there, and then I'll cut it off. Probably should have used my sharper scissors for that. Okay, see so you. Let's just plop this in here and see how it looks. Oops, get down. Oops, mm -mm. Oh my goodness, that looks adorable. Love it. Okay, definitely doing that on my other one. Okay, let me go do my other piece and I will be right back. Okay, so now I have my second one done. Let's put that in here. Let's get this. There we go. Oh my goodness, that is stinking adorable. Love it. Okay, so then on the inside here, you could add, you know, all different kinds of things. I mean, you could put artist trading cards in here. You could put ephemera, you could do a little photo book like I did where you add some photos. I mean, your options are really endless. You could do so many things with this. Um, I think I will put, I don't know, maybe I'll fill this up with like some 80s things or something. I just think this is super fun and I'm really excited to add some photos and stuff like that in here. That is just too stinking cute. I love it. Okay, I'm gonna decorate with these Dollar Tree stickers because I think that would be really fun. And what I think I'll do is um, print later, I'll print some of the pictures for my recent meet and greet and I'll add those in here as my little picture album. Okay, I'm going to add creativity. Ooh, these are on here. Why are these on here so strong? Get out of here. Okay, I'm gonna put it like this. Are we gonna stick on there good? I probably should have put, can I lift this up? Shoot, hold on, there, there, okay. So we have that and then I'll put a picture here. And then in here, I just wanted to put a couple little like I like this one that says create. Why are they stuck to that? That's so weird. You know what I might do though? Can I just peel this off? Then I'll just glue it on there. So I just peeled that little foam piece off. That way this sticker can be more flat. Okay, and there's a little raised piece in between these two pieces right here, so. 
All right, so we've got that little create right there. That's adorable. That. I'm going to print off some papers. All right, I printed out a few pictures from my meet and greet and I'm going to glue them on to my paper here. Do a little decoration. Okay. This is the photo that I showed the glue crew on my way there or right before. <laughs> I was excited. Woo! <laughs> okay. And then in here, I just have a few more photos. This is an awesome uh, glue book that Mindy made me that I can't wait to use. It's massive and I'm so excited to show it to you guys. Um, Steph got me a Cabbage Patch doll. So that was super good. Of course, I look like disgusting in this photo. <laughs> I hate it. Uh, my hair got flat. I was getting sweaty. Um, and then we have a picture here. This one isn't very clear, but it's there's me working, my goddaughter. There's Donna, Tracy, Mindy, Steph, and Melanie's down here. So we got that. And then here's a picture of me and my goddaughter, which I thought would be really cute on one of these. You know, I could put one like this, and then maybe if I had... You know, I could put a little heart or something right here or write a little something. So let's glue that down. My goddaughter is uh, five years old and she listens to my videos on her way to school and she loves art and she loves to glue book. So that was really fun to have her there. She did a great job glue booking. I made her a little kit to, to play with while we were there. She brought her own little art supplies. It was adorable, you guys so adorable. So I, I'll put maybe something a little here or maybe put 2024 or something like that. And then I can also put something on the back. Um, I could write on the back or whatnot. So we have that. That's super cute. And then here's a group photo of five of us. Melanie, Steph, Tracy, Donna, Mindy. And then... Oh, this is basically the same photo, just a little bit different angle. So I'll, maybe I'll keep that one out for now. Put this one in here. And then I definitely will probably mount these on some cardstock here. Um, but I'm not going to do that today. I just kind of wanted to put these in here for now and then I can decorate. In fact, actually, this one might be great to put right here like this. And then I could write, yep, let's do that. Ooh, that's fun. I knew I, in my brain, I made one a little bit bigger because I knew I wanted to put it on this page. So I was wondering why for a second there I had this bigger one, but. Uh, brain frog, brain frog, brain fog tried to keep me from my idea today. Not today. <laughs> All right, so we'll put this on here. Oops, a little crooked. Okay, my finger's sticking to it. Is that pretty good? That's gonna have to do because it's stuck already. Okay, so we'll go like that. Now, obviously I just printed these out on my printer, um, but you could go and, you know, use, <laughs> I'm choking, um, use regular photos or whatnot. And then I'll put up here, uh, Relax Cut Glue Meet and Greet 2024. I'll print that out on my computer and put that up there. Let's put that back in there. Oh my gosh, how fun, right? Oh my gosh, sorry. I get excited with fun little projects. And then like I said, I will go and mat these at a later date um, so that they, I mean, I don't have to. I could just leave them like this, but I'm gonna go like this because I wanna cover my face a little bit. Over here. <laughs> so ridiculous, I know. Okay, there we go. All right, and then, you know, I can put more things, but I just, this is so fun, so fun.
All right, everyone, I added RCG and then I wanna put a 2024 there, but I did add 2024 stickers right here. So I'll continue to play with this, but I had so much fun today. I hope you did too. And that is gonna to conclude today's video. I hope you guys have a fabulous day. Don't forget to drink your water, show me some support and hit the like button. It helps me out more than you know. Subscribe if you haven't already. I would love it if you stuck around and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye friends.